race fans, it's Jackie Stewart here with another episode of Moisture Mayhem at the racetracks around North America. Today we are looking at the racetrack known as New Hampshire Motorsports Park and this is the final turn on the final lap as we see the Greg Me going for the win. Let's go, shall we? As we watch him, he'll be driving Blue Max Car 54 from the Maximum Attack Motorsports crew. The stable of cars that we're all well familiar with. And there he is. The Greg Me taking the checkered flag, winning the Big Boar Contest. Yes, a fabulous race. Really just absolutely spectacular. But why are we doing a show about the Greg Me winning in the moisture? Well, let's go down, shall we, and have a look. Oh, look at that. Something happened. Let's go back to the start of the race and see what could have caused this right here. And all oh, the backside looks a little twisted in as well. Oh, Jeez, this is going to be something that is going to be amazing. All right, so let's head off to the track. It's the start of the race. The big board class at New Hampshire Motorsports Park. The Greg Amig qualified third. Though first and second place cars found out the Greg Ami was driving Blue Max and said, I were not racing in this. We're out of here. And Greg and me even said, tell you what I'll do. I'll put on slicks instead of rain tires in the water just to give you a sporting chance. They said no. So there it is. Greg and me on the pole starting at New, Jer New Hampshire Motorsports Park in the car 54 sponsored by Small House Wines, the pace car in front. Remember folks, Slick tires and rain does not scare the Greg of me. It is just moisture. And moisture can be overcome with superior driving skill. Waiting for the green flag. Windshield wiper going back and forth. Setting his pace for the start. And green flag spins the tires back into it, short shifting will be the way to go as they enter into turn one. Notice down here, the rear view side mirrors here, nobody even close. That's how good he is. In the wet, in the dry, driving down the road. Ah, oh, yes, look at the short shift into the corner, getting ready to go. All right, let's, let's move forward, shall we? And see how the track looks. Maybe it dried out during the race. 25 minutes. Oh yeah, feathering, the, feathering it through the corner. Doing not bad. Still short shifting. Notice, not as much rain on the windscreen. So the Greg and me getting a handle on the weather, obviously. His weather prognosticating skill said the shower is going to blow over and slicks were the way to go. Yeah, look at that, getting through the gears hard into that first corner. Down shifting, smooth as ever. That's years of experience there, folks. Years of experience. All right. Oh, look, we're into it even harder now. Things are going good. So what caused that damage to the front end of the car? Let's go ahead, shall we? To about the, oh, we'll go right about here, 17 minutes in. Still dry, looking not bad. You can see he's working the corners through well. Blue Max, the Honda Motorsports car, Honda racing for Maximum Attack Motorsports. Hitting his marks, Ed Wary cut the front clip off that car only a month earlier, put the new clip on, and it is running through. Look, 
black car up there. And the Greg and me getting ready to go and take that one out as well. He is in the lead. Let's watch this pass, shall we? Look how he expertly gets the inside line, setting them up to go around them. There's no way you can stop the Greg and me. You can only try to contain him. There you go, through the corners, back up to the front. Oh, a little wheel spin there, a little aggressive. Always testing the track to see what it can handle. Well, let's find out, shall we? We'll go up to about here, about 20 minutes into the race. V Greg and me, through the start-finish line. Yes, this is going to be the last lap. Let's ride along with them, shall we? Through the left hand over there. Oh, look at the windscreen. It seems a slight shower has come on the last lap of the race. Maybe it's just affecting the start-finish line. Remember, when we watched the first part of the race, we saw the Greg and me take the checkered flag and win. So, we still have to figure out what happened here. That's raining a little bit harder. Still remember, driving on slicks, but the Greg and me knows how to put the power down in a smooth, short shifting fashion. Lotus on the side mirror here. Nobody is in the rear rear mirror, so he's in good shape. No threat there. Through the corner, coming around for the last time to take the checkered flag. Glory from pole position. No one challenged him at all. They knew he was the man to beat and no one could beat him. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Oh, there it is. The win for Mr. The Agregami. All right, let's stop here for a moment, folks. When you hit the wall, there are three types of, of cakes that you can have. You can have a pancake, you, which is just flattening out the, the, the panels of the car. You can have a waffle, where it's a little bit harder. You can kind of see the interior ribs of the, uh, of the body frame, kind of pressing through the outer body panels. And then you have what Greg and me is about to do. It's called a flapjack. Why? Because when he hits the wall, the front tire is going to be flapjacking down the side. Let's watch, shall we? Buffering. Oh, that's a flapjack for sure, lads. It reminds me of the days when horses would go down cobblestone roads. Yeah, not good at all. There's the cars going by, waving to him. He must be stopping to say hello to everybody that competed against him. Unknowingly, they don't realize that he's just tore the front tire off the car. Cause anything to say for yourself, Greg? Oh, thumbs up. Yeah, you're a good lad. Good up against the wall. Reflective moment now. From zero to zero. There it is, folks. The Greg and me states the moment right there. Hero to zero, hoping Caesar says thumbs up. You still were on the race, and we're not going to execute you. What happened? Oh, there it is, folks. <clears throat> That's pretty funny. What happened? Rain. A wise observation from the Greg and me. So remember this, folks. You can't take the race car driver off the track in the rain, but the rain can take the race car driver off the track and into the wall. I'm Jackie Stewart. That's Moisture Mayhem. Until next time, ta-ta.